There's nothing like Monterey Car Week, where every August the Monterey Peninsula becomes an automotive haven for the elite. Between the Quail, a motorsports gathering showcasing vintage sporting automobiles and exclusive glances at the latest extreme luxury, the historic races at Laguna Seca featuring 550 historic and period correct race cars, the Concorso Italiano's lush lawns of idyllic Italian works of rolling art, and the mint classics of Pebble Beach Concorde Elegance, which started all the way back in 1950. The caliber of pristine classic cars here tops many enthusiast bucket lists, but the price of entry is steep. We start our tour of the Monterey Car Week along the Santa Lucia mountain range within the rolling greens of Quail Lodge and Golf Club in Carmel by the Sea. So as you first walk into the Quail, I run into guys like this, Aaron Hagar, next to cars like this. What are you doing? I know, I knew you grew up with cars. Your dad was a car loving guy, oh, but yeah. you are too, man. You yeah. have your own thing going. Yeah. In fact, I've been sending dad pictures of stuff. Yeah. Right. His dad, Sammy he's Hagar. Not here. He can't yeah. drive 55. That's yeah. the truth, right? No, we, I saw can, the video. He can. We just added one in front of it. <laughs> okay. It's really easy. Yeah. <laughs> so what are you doing here? Well, I'm here representing the, the rum. Even though we're not serving this year, I got the Woody Wagon here. So we got a really cool 56 Woody Wagon that I, I built for uh, yeah. myself a couple years ago. And then dad kind of took claim to it and made a few changes. And so I did that. Lost money on the deal, but hey. <laughs> That's what family's family. all about, right? <laughs> now we're just representing, having a good time. But this is where I see all my friends. Yeah, but you're on TV now, too. I know you got a new little show going. Yeah. Maybe talk about that. Design Cut Build. It's a web series, which I love. Yeah. It's good. It's a fabrication show with yeah. uh, Lincoln Torchmate. When we've got a few more in the bag. And then I just signed on for four and five. Season Fantastic. Five, so. yeah. Well, and he has Rat Runner's Garage, which yep. someday will be a show. It, it needs to be, brother. We'll see. When, when, when they want to be authentic, I'm more than willing to play. No, it's great. <laughs> well, it's good to see you here. <laughs> Thank Speaking, you, Speaking, there comes likewise. somebody else. Hey, Ed Justice Jr., come Ed. here. Ed probably knows about this car. Ed, we how you doing, Ed? Back. Hey. What's the story on this car? Do you know anything about it? It's white. Oh, yeah. No, this is uh, Porsche's uh, second overall winner at Le Mans of the 19-some Le Mans they've won. And it's in the iconic Martini racing team colors. I mean, Martini and Golf are two of the most iconic colors, and it just so happens that they're known on the Porsches, too. And, I mean, you know, in 1970, they won their first 24-hour uh, Le Mans with a red car from Porsche Austria, which was owned by uh, Luisa Pieck who was Ferry Porsche's sister, and uh, that was like the beginning. Right. And I mean, Well, and it's the 70th it. anniversary of Porsche too, so oh, yeah. it's a big year for them. I've been driving the cars for almost 50 years. Where yeah. do you keep all that information? Yeah, yeah right, right. I know, it's a chip in the back yeah, of his head. Right. All right, this is the Quail, a motorsports gathering, and a lot of our friends are here, so come on, we'll take you for a walk around. Let's go, guys. <laughs> For 17 years, the Quail, a motorsports gathering, has provided an unparalleled exclusive experience for motorsports enthusiasts and collectors from around the world. From pre- and post-war sports racing cars and motorcycles to the unveiling of extreme supercars, the Quail's rare collection attracts a variety of enthusiasts to this garden party setting. It wasn't long before I ran into my good friend John Hennessy from Hennessy Performance, where they make fast cars go faster. They were unveiling his 1,600 plus horsepower Venom F5. We're here with my buddy John Hennessy, and he's just unveiled to the world some 1,600 plus, plus. horsepower. So you're trying to do once again what Hennessy is best known for, breaking records. Breaking records. We want to climb the next highest mountain, and we feel like that next highest mountain in the automotive performance world is breaking 300 miles an hour because 30 years ago, Ferrari had the first road legal car to break 200 miles an hour, the F40. And I don't believe that anybody is going to have a 400 mile an hour road car in any time in the next 100 years. And so we kind of feel like 300 miles an hour is kind of like the Mount Everest of performance, at least in terms of supercars and hypercars. So that's our goal. So this is going to be a production machine for people to buy. Correct. Huh. When yeah. will it be available? We'll have customers beginning to take delivery towards the end of 2019. I thought I had a lot of horsepower at 840 with my Demon. Over 1600 in the F5. That's John Hennessy. Let's watch what he does. He's going to do it. Next, we head to the Monterey Coast. I've been broadcasting from the Concord Elegance on the 18th hole of Pebble Beach's iconic golf course for over 25 years. This was the first year, however, that I had a chance to actually play around a round of golf. 
while typically hanging with my car guy buddies like Barry McGuire, Jay Leno, Corky Coker, and a host of legendary car nuts, I'm positioned perfectly as I gaze out over the fairway at some of the most beautiful and expensive cars on earth. Well, here we are. It's Pebble Beach for the ultimate cars and coffee. Starts out at dawn with the Dawn Patrol from Haggerty, and we all get a donut and coffee and watch all these beautiful cars come onto the lawn. And then a full day of judging happens. Let's go show you a little of the action here at Pebble Beach 2018. Car collectors from around the globe dream of competing at the Pebble Beach Concord Elegance starting in 1950. This Concord is the top ranking collector car competition in the world. As I wander the course in awe, I ran into my friend Wayne Carini, who is showcasing his 1954 Studebaker Commander Starliner Coupe. Hey, what's going is on? this your car? It is. Where did you find this? In her garage. <laughs> Seriously, what, what is Pittsburgh. it? Pittsburgh. Studebaker Commander Starliner Coupe. And that's original paint job? Totally original, the whole car. Amazing. Yeah, How many amazing. miles are on 7, it? 7,400. Wow. 7,300 until the other day, and then we just cranked on another 80 miles and went, clicked over, I got all upset. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact that you had a crank up yeah, wasn't it great? aerial antenna there. Yeah, it's a... Well, it's beautiful. Yeah. Wish you the best of luck on it. Thank you. All right, Wayne Carini, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. The Concord Elegance is not a contest of speed, but one of elegance. Automobiles are judged on their style and technical merit as well as their history, their originality, and the accuracy of their preservation or restoration. The draw of Monterey Car Week each year to see some of the most extraordinary historic automobiles in the world packs in record crowds to the peninsula. I can't wait to come back once again next year.